Hi everyone, I'm back with another fun exponential problem for you all. Now you have to solve 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 equals to what? And you have to choose your answer between A, B, C and D, the four options here. So we're going to try the first option that is 27 to the power of 30. That is equal to the sum of all the bases to the sum of all the powers. So that is equal to 9 plus 9 plus 9 whole to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10 and that's equal to 27 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27 or 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30 but this answer is wrong let's try for the second one you have one of the base and sum of all the powers so we have one base here and sum of all the powers 10 plus 10 plus 10 which is equal to 9 to the power of 30 also this is wrong so we have to find the answer in this one 27 to the power of 10 now this is sum of all the bases to one of the power that is 9 plus 9 plus 9 and one of the power that is 10 so 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27 to the power of 10 but this as well is wrong so d is suspected to be the correct answer so let's find out how it's the correct answer to solve this question what we have to do is write down this 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 9 to the power of 10 is common so we're going to take that out so the first step what we're going to do is 9 to the power of 10 is common so we are taking that out so we are left with if you divide 9 to the power of 10 with this 9 to the power of 10 you're left with 1 and let's divide this 9 to the power of 10 with this 9 to the power of 10 you're left with 1 this 9 to the power of 10 divide with this 9 to the power of 10 you're left with 1 so here we have 9 to the power of 10 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 9 can be written as 3 squared whole to the power of 10 times 3. Whenever you have power to power, a to the power of whole to the power of n, we multiply the powers. So 3 to the power of 2 times 10, that is 3 to the power of 20 times 3. And whenever you have something like this, a to the power of m times a to the power of n, we add the powers a to the power of m plus n. So we're going to apply that 3 to the power of 20 plus 1 when nothing is there 1 3 to the power of 20 plus 1 is 3 to the power of 21 and that's your correct answer d 3 to the power of 21 is the right answer for this question so was it that fun solving this question thank you for watching and supporting making lk logic as a best channel ever love you all a lot thank you so much bye bye take care